Uh, Your Eminence, uh, Mr. Guterres, Mr. Ambassador, Mr. Danusis, our State Assemblyman, thank you for being with us, Father Valestis. First, let me begin by uh, expressing my thanks to the Federation, Kiriakos, and uh, all the members of the Federation that are here uh, honoring us today, including the past presidents, Mr. Gomodromos, Mr. Tsimikos, the Executive Vice President, Mr. Bafidis, who is doing a great job, I know everyone else, these people that came from very far away, Mr. Camilaris of Mambusa and Mr. Peter Lucas of Azgada, the Pan-Cyprian Association for being here with us, uh, that's been up come from New Jersey as well, and all those people that have uh, traveled far to be here with us today. Uh, St. Nicholas is a church that has been uh, a symbol of hope for all of us. Since 1974, this church has been uh, very active on the Cyprus issue. I remember, uh, Father Balestis, that uh, uh, Congressman Blumenthal uh, was the one here in this church. And I'm happy to see Mr. Chirpin is here and Mr. Yorgil and all those people for so many years, for 47 years, have been working with us from this church. This church has been a symbol of hope, like many of the other churches across the United States. But this is the largest Greek-American church. Uh, it was, uh, we are very thankful. Especially, uh, especially uh, this was the church of my parents. My father and mother used to come here every Sunday to pray for Cyprus, to pray for freedom, to pray for a return to Kerenia. And of course, like my parents, there's another 200,000 refugees that have been waiting and yearning and living with the dream of returning back to their homes. Today, we have a promise to keep. And those promises is that we will continue this fight. We'll continue this fight any way we can. And we're working very, very hard with the United States Senators, the United States Congressmen. All of you saw the letters that we have sent, both to President Biden and also to the Secretary General of the United Nations. There's going to be a hearing on, May 28th, on uh, July 28th in the United States Senate calling on the Secretary of State to answer a few questions regarding the Varosha beach and the reopening of Varosha. So over these past 47 years, I know you're all frustrated and you're all disappointed, but the fight has to go on. We in particular as American citizens are very hopeful that President Biden, a person that knows our issue, a person that made many, many promises to our community. A person that when he first ran for the uh, for Senate, he came to Fanny Holiday's house and he made promises. He came to Reynolds Yoriu's house in Long Island and made promises. He attended the United Nations demonstration. He attended our demonstrations in Washington, D.C. As chairman of the Foreign Relations Committee, he was the one that, that told the Turkish president not a single dollar will go for you unless you remove your troops from Cyprus. So we were always hoping that when we elect a president that knows a problem, a problem that, under, that he understands, that we will see progress on the Cyprus issue. It's still early, I am still hopeful, and I still hope that he will keep his promises. For all of you that are here today, the only thing I can say is thank you for attending. Thank you for continuing to fight, and please spread the word to your friends, to your families. What uh, the Agos mentioned before, the alert, the action alert, regarding a letter from the Senate that was initiated by Senator Menendez and Senator Van Halen, and we are trying to get signatures of other senators uh, to sign up uh, on that letter including Senator Schumer and Senator Gillenbrand of uh, New York. So one of the things that you could all do is press that button to send a message of action alert on this issue. So with those few words, the only thing I want to tell you is I know you're frustrated. I know you're disappointed. 
No one is more frustrated than I am. We have been working very hard. I invite you on July 20th on our virtual conference. And let us hope that we, as American citizens, believing we are not, you know, and the issue of Cyprus is not a democratic issue, is not a Republican issue, is not progressive, is not conservative. It is an American issue. It is an issue of values and ideals. So let us continue to fight, and let us hope that next year we will celebrate the freedom of Cyprus. Thank you very much.